damn fools. Hmm? Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. This is going to be one of those episodes that has an enormous amount of dialogue and cutscenes, so I won't have that many opportunities to really chime in and add anything to this. So it's it's going to have to be one of those. Couldn't really be helped, I guess. Can't make the episodes too long, can't make them too short, but you know. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar! Now, moving along, next you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. The technology on display in the Shinra headquarters is amazing. This place is empty. What the hell? distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land, shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we've harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, dear. Oh, dear. A man of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> No, it, it couldn't possibly have been. Crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor, what was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Since the days of Final Fantasy VII, the original that is, Square had a reputation for having some of the best looking uh, pre-rendered cutscenes in any video game. That kind of distinction has faded significantly since then, since pre-rendered cutscenes are used less nowadays, and the quality of them has improved across the board. But they still have quite a quite a billy there. That was a good looking cutscene. What the? Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The Mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The Mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built, that Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the Mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? The mayor is waiting. This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. 
What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, chucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great! So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. <sighs> Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh... Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh... <sighs> Just say, Mayor, to the guy, and if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? If you think you've found the collaborator, say, Mayor, and see if he says, the best. You got it now? Funny thing they did with Domino here, because he was a character in the original game, but he had no significance. He was just a bitter librarian, basically. And this, he's actually a member of Avalanche. It's, it's weird. But I guess, you know, makes sense. If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that. But a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. Huh, that's better. Ordinarily, navigating through the menus would be something I'd cut out, but it's really the only chance I have to say anything about what we've been seeing in this episode. Shinra in this 
game, this version of the story, seems to have some need to really get a lot of public support behind what they're doing. There was a lot of talk earlier in the game about using the Mako reactor bombings as sort of a pretense for another war against uh, Wutai. Something that, I mean, there was a war with Wutai in the original game, but it was over by the time the game started. And there wasn't much in the way of talk or anything regarding them other than Wutai basically like becoming a vacation spot and Yuffie wanting it to rise again and become a threat again. Um, Shinra didn't really give it much thought beyond that. In this game, they're doing a lot of talk about going back to war Wutai and using the bombings as an excuse. Something else that they are seemingly feeling the need to neg uh, not negotiate, but sell the people on is the whole promised land concept. Now, the promised land was what the ancients referred to, or the Centra referred to the, I don't know, some idealized version of the world. Now, it turns out it isn't an actual place, although Shinra doesn't know that. Hojo suspects it, but Shinra doesn't know it. That's not an actual place. Shinra thinks that it's a land where Mako is so abundant that it'll be much easier to withdraw. So they wanted to build a new version of Midgar, Neo Midgar, which I guess we saw a rendering of during that uh, holodeck room cutscene we saw a few minutes back. I guess that was Neo Midgar, and it looks a lot nicer than the regular Midgar. And I get that Shinra would have mock-ups and renderings and all that kind of stuff and something like that, but the whole video that we saw, that animation and everything, seems like it was designed with the idea of selling the idea of finding the promised land and building a new city to the people. Shinra in the original game didn't give a rat's ass about the people. So there's a difference. I guess they want to have a little bit of, like, political intrigue added to the mix of this game. But it wasn't in the original, and I'd say it's not really necessary. And I think it's maybe just sort of confusing, uh, dragging us away from the plot a little bit, because really what this, the Midgar portions of the original game were really just setting up the world and all that kind of stuff, but bringing the story to a point where the character of Sephiroth can be introduced. Now, of course, Sephiroth wouldn't be introduced properly in this um, truncated version of the game unless they changed something about it. Shin, uh, um, Sephiroth didn't show up in any form at all until the death of all of the people up on the 68th floor or whatever. And even then, it wasn't really even Sephiroth that did it. It was Genova, and I think Cloud might have had a hand in that too. Sephiroth didn't even appear. In this game, they're shoving Sephiroth into a number of different portions, because, you know, you can't go through the entire first game and what's going to be a series here without even stumbling across your main antagonist. So there was a lot of changes that they made there. Hmm. Another change I mentioned a few minutes ago was the whole Mayor Domino thing. Domino was <laughs> a bit of a jokey side character, seemed a little bit self-obsessed. This one seems a little self-obsessed as well. But it makes a little bit of um, a little bit of comedy there that maybe the reason why he's helping Avalanche is because Shinra doesn't treat him well. And he's just trying to get back him like, how dare you treat me like this kind of thing. And he's a bit of a dick, but he's helping us out. And it does help make it this intrusion into the Shinra headquarters make a little bit more sense because... You know, why haven't they been surrounded by security yet? It doesn't make any sense. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work. My dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. 
I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes, time for yet another meeting. Sit tight, I won't be long. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. <laughs> <laughs> 